In this video, I will show you how to place text behind a moving object. In this case, I'm going to place text behind me. Notice that my head moves. Please ignore the rest of the filters here because I kind of want to look good. First, I have this same clip placed on two video tracks, track V1 and V3. I'm going to hide the top layer so you can see that it is the same video. The next step is going to mask the head. I'm going to use the Glax Limit mask. Click on new to create a new mask file. I'm going to call it as Lux image should open up. We will need to mask this. You can use a draw free hand or the draw bezier. And I'm also going to turn this fill down so that I can see better where I mask. I'm going to start somewhere here. Now because I've turned opacity down, you can see that I can see through this mask as I go over it. And we have done the first part. Let's go back to select. Let's save this. Next, we will turn on the recorder, the record function, which is actually keyframes in Glax Limit. So next, we're going to move this further down and keeping an eye on this mask as well as the face as it moves. Okay, so there is some slight movement, so I'm going to adjust this. Here, the ear moves a little bit, so I'm going to turn on edit to edit the points. Okay, let's go further down. Move the mask slightly. Move further down. Adjust the mask. Go back to edit and so on and so forth. The idea is to make sure that as my hand moves, the mask moves with it. Once you are done, you're going to hit the record button again and it will stop recording keyframes. Save this. Head back over to shortcut. You may want to save this as well. I'm just going to save it. But the most important thing is to hit reload. And this layer 2 is where we will add text. Open other, select text. Click on OK. I'm going to turn the font to black color. And drag this down onto track B2. You can see the mask taking effect now, so I'm just going to move it. And the reason why it is semi-transparent is because we need to go back to Glax Limit, turn this back on to 100%. Click on Save, go back to Shortcut, go back to this mask here, Reload, and you have that. I'm just going to keyframe the text, select keyframe. Turn it on, move my text somewhere here, move this over somewhere here. Let's play this. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until the next time, bye bye.